everybody, just want to do a quick little video explaining the Quad Cortex preset that I made where I can freeze a chord and move that chord around. Um, so several of you have been asking me to do this, so I'm going to show you all how to do this um, in your own units. If you want to just download my preset directly to your Quad Cortex, you can do that. Um, I uploaded the preset to the cloud, so you can just search my name in the app and you can uh, just download it directly. Uh, but one thing to note, if you do do that, you're going to see that there is a lane specifically for an acoustic guitar. That's mainly because I use a uh, Hollow Body 2 from PRS with this preset a lot, um, and it has an acoustic pickup, um, a piezo pickup, as well as regular magnetic pickups. Um, two outputs. Um, so I'm able to use them both simultaneously and individually with this preset. So that's why you'll see um, a lane that is a little bit different, has a, an acoustic IR and everything. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's head over to the Quad Cortex right now and I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so here is the preset. Let me do a quick little walkthrough of what's going on within the preset. Input 1 is, is my electric guitar. Um, goes right into... Um, uh, poly octaverse, kind of like a pog. Uh, three overdrives and then compression. I like my compression after overdrives, personal taste thing. Also a volume pedal right here. Um, also a taste thing to have that after overdrives. Input two, uh, a separate lane, is um, the acoustic side of things. So starts off with a compressor, followed by a little bit of gain. And then this is the IR that I'm using, um, modeling a tailor. And then this is uh, an EQ, uh, a little bit of delay, and then uh, this is a big reverb, uh, this is a smaller reverb, the bigger one was, was a mine hall, the smaller one was just a regular hall, and then there is also a volume ex uh, expression right here. Uh, so, and that's kind of, and that currently is off, um, but you can just easily just put that on if you want to. Um, and I'm using the uh, Dunlop right here in the uh, um, expression one. Uh, so now lane one goes to row three. Like I said, this is the lane two is just acoustic guitar. So in two and then multi out. Pretty simple. Uh, lane one sends to lane three, which is where the amp is. That's a Lone Star followed by a cab. And then an EQ after the cab, just to kind of just fine tune some things. And then I have a tremolo and then a chorus as well. This is my effects loop. That's where my strymons are coming into play. So I prefer the reverbs and delays of the strymons currently. Um, so you're going to notice here, um, it's go, it splits off. So from here, it goes multi out. So that would be all electric guitar stuff like that. And then um, down here is all the freeze things. So there's the freeze block right there. This is the main thing that we're going to be talking about, the pitch shifter. And right here is a dream chorus, just to add a little bit of modulation. Um, and then I have both a mine hall and also a shimmer. The shimmer is very important for what I'm doing here. It's very subtle, but it just adds that, that little bit of chime to it. And then some EQ for, for that. Um, so let's talk about scenes. Um, so if I put this in scene mode and swipe up, you're going to see that I have programmed all the chords as well as um, arming the freeze and disarming the freeze. So scene H, disarmed. So this is literally going to be everything except for this bottom lane here so so let's go into this lane here um or this splitter right here so we can see um, how i made this happen so like i said scene h is disarming um i have the type set to balance and the balance all the way off in this scene so you're not going to hear anything in the fro in the freeze lane at the bottom there when you're in scene h that's why it's disarmed um scene g we're arming, so now we're getting 50-50, so you're going to hear everything. You're going to hear your main line followed by these effects down in the, in the freeze lane. Um, and at this point, if I go to scene A, so I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate this like on the guitar so you can see this. But um, scene A, I'm going to be holding a chord, and then I would push scene A to freeze. And you can see that the, the freeze block lit up because I also have that set to start freezing when I tap scene A. 
Um, and then, uh, as you can see, the balance goes back down to zero. That is what allows me to continue to play melodies over top of the frozen chord. So again, if I'm in CNH, bypassed. G is arming, so balance has to be at 50. And if I hit um, scene A, balance goes back to zero, and but it freezes the chord. And then it stays frozen for all my scenes, and it's going to cycle through the different um, the different chords that we have. And now how we do that is we go to the um, pitch shifter, and you're going to see that everything, so let's start with scene A. Scene A is in the pitch, um, thing is set to zero semitones, just the chord. The chord is the chord at, at uh, zero semitones. Um, and then I have scene B go up two semitones. So that's gonna be a whole step up, and it works best if you um, just play a power chord, a root and a fifth. Um, otherwise, you're gonna run into some issues if you play a third in, in your chord. So up two semitones would give you your two chord, um, uh, and I put in scene C, we're going backwards. So this is your three chord, um, and it's minus eight semitones. Um, and then it just climbs up from there. So from three to four is a half step. So from eight to seven, and then up again to five, and the next one will be three. Um, and then scene G, we're disarming again. So. Um, let me let me demonstrate how to what this sounds like, um, and then you can hear it in, ex in an example. All right, so let's try this out. I have the um, Cortex Control on the screen, so you could see it a little bit better. Um, so currently, I am in scene H. Everything is disarmed, but you can hear my guitar. What you're hearing is everything electric guitar. We are not talking about the acoustic stuff. Um, and like I said, scene H has this lane not used. The freeze lane is not used. I am going to arm the um, this this lane here. So I'm going to arm the freeze lane and everything, and that's going to make the splitter go 50-50. So you hear there's a little bit more going on because we got some extra reverbs and stuff like that. So I'm going to play a G power chord like this, and I'm going to hit uh, scene A, which is going to be holding the one chord. Just like that. And um, at this point, I can now play over this. Like that. And I can also cycle through the chords. Like that. That goes up two semitones. That goes back. That's technically my three chord. Four chord. Five. And six. And I can still play over this and this and that, and I can still get all my effects. And I can still, like, I can add more reverb with my, with my Strymons. So that's how you do all this. Um, so feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Hope everyone has a great day. I'll see you next time.